Mayonnaise in every bite. Moise. Or a Casaneza. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mayonnaise on Every Bite, the show that endeavors to platform the African cycling community and beyond. I'm your host. My name is Sterling. I'm a career cyclist, former professional, now turned coach, consultant, mentor, if I may. I'm both excited and nervous for this conversation. It's with someone that I've known for a long time. His name is Mugisha Moyes. You may know him as well. He's an amazing bike racer. He's spirited. He is passionate. He is talented. Unfortunately, he has had a very uh, interesting year the past year, and not just due to COVID. He's had some other things that he's had to deal with. His story is is interesting. There's there's tales that I have were not present for that he talks about. So I'm going to leave it up to you to digest those things. But I also want to make note of the fact that this is the first time that we've had a guest on that where he and I don't speak the same language conversationally or fluently enough for us to converse in the same language. And so I'm going to be talking in English. He's going to be speaking in Kunyarwanda. There will be subtitles in this show, as there should be now, for the listeners who speak either language so that they can digest the conversation in full. There are, there are many, actually, individuals that I know in, in the cycling community in Rwanda and beyond that are not conversational enough in English to articulate their stories. And that's not to fault them. And I don't believe that should be a barrier to entry. So I hope that this format is uh, enjoyable and digestible for you and that it provides value and it helps you understand these people and these stories and their struggles and their their hearts and their personalities and who they really are because that's what we're about here. So you'll let me know in the comments if this is if this is if this is working or not it's the only way to do it that i know of uh <laughs> otherwise uh otherwise i'd have to tell a story for you but i'd rather them tell the stories themselves um i've known Moise for a long time we worked together on the national team i met him when he was um starting to just break into the scene doing well in the rwanda cycling cup I watched him fire on all cylinders and then you know have a crash or make a mistake or whatever but he's hugely talented physically really good guy has a really good heart his story is complicated but i'm going to leave the rest up to you to listen to so without further ado please enjoy this conversation with the one mugisha moise please keep an open mind there will be other shows to follow this episode with individuals that are related to this story so that they can tell their angle, their experience, so that this is not just a one-sided account of events. Please enjoy. See you next time. Murakoze cyane. Mizute. Mizeneza. Mizeneza. Yes. Sure. I'm sure. Nachi bazo. Nachi. Okay. Um, you've been racing for a long time. You've been racing for four years. Yeah, good day. Okay, wow, that's a long time. And you've won a lot of races in that time. And um, you've won a lot of races and you showed your potential. In 2020, you came second place in GC. You, you almost won Tour de Rwanda 2.1. But this year, we're having the tour later than usual. Uh, normally, the Tour de Rwanda happens in February. Um, late February, early March, that's kind of the, the place in the calendar that the Tour de Rwanda normally takes place. But this year, because of COVID-19 and all the complications, the race was moved to May. And now we are in late April. So the race is happening in less than two weeks, almost like a little bit less than two weeks. Um, what's your situation now? I, I hear you're not, not going to do the race. What's happening? Okay. Okay. 
Well, that sounds like a difficult situation to be in. Um, and I've heard, I've heard that you've had issues with your team. Um, it's been going on for a while. It's even been in the, in the media. But um, how did this start? What exactly is the problem or was the problem? What's, what, how did this start? Nuko <laughs> Ariko ntago byari byise yuko akazi ngataye. Ko niba mpamagara mu kazi nge nzajyayo. Ariko nahunze yango yo gukubito. Kurumva rero ikibazo bagize bo nuko ngo nagiye mu rugo. Niba naye ngiye mu rugo akabifata nkaho ubwo nta yakazi ntabwo mbise. Ariko nge nagiyagije kwabwira yuko nge ndahari niba mpamagara mu kazi nzaza ngakore neza n'inzo za kazi angire nta nge mu Okay, there's, there's a couple things in there. Um, first of all, I'm really sorry you're having these problems. It sounds like a difficult situation. Nobody should be beaten uh, by their coach, that's for sure. Um, of course, there's always there's always more to the story than meets the eye. I wasn't there. I don't I don't know. Um, I don't know the situation really firsthand, so I'm just, that's why I'm asking you about it. You know, I hear things, but uh, that's why I'm asking you. So I'm really sorry you're dealing with that. That's not something you should ever have to deal with on your team. Nobody should be beating anyone. Um, we should be able to resolve our issues with uh, with our words and, and, and fight with our legs on the bike. We shouldn't be beating anyone. But... Um, Am I understanding you correctly saying that uh, if the team calls you up to race to the Ronda, you will then again return home afterwards because you don't want to rejoin the team completely? Is, do I understand that? Uh, it, it, under, the, under the circumstances, do I understand that correctly? If you not bakina aba bana kandi ngewe urugo rwanjye nta muntu rubamo kandi rufite ibikoresho birimo urumva ndutaye nanone ntago nabona ubisigarana cyo kwita gasanga barabyibye niyo mpamvu naye nabatse anyo bwa ati ibyimwe bibiri bya nyuma bya kurusa najya ndaza nkashaka wa muntu basi wa hansigarira cyumwe ariko kuba mu kigwi ibihe byose kandi naye mfite ibindi byanjye ndimo gucunga n'ikibazo nabyo narabibabwiye ntibabyumva ariko ntago naba ngiye kuri ya equipe mu rugo ni hafi aho ko namubwiye ngo aho igikorwa kireba ya equipe yose yagikenerwa ntage ndaza nta kibazo kandi no kwitoza na kitoza neza okay so the issue, the issue is not that you will resign yourself from the team after the race. The issue is just that you want to you want to be living at home most of the time. You don't want to stay at the team headquarters, but you you want to return to the team fully for the Tour of Rwanda and continue to finish your contract with the team throughout the year 2021 20, when your contract ends. Do I have that correct? Yes. <laughs> Kani <laughs> Okay, well, this sounds like it's a, a slightly separate issue from your issue with Adrian. There's a sort of an administrative and logistical issue uh, that's separate from the issue you have with Adrian. Okay, 
kugira ni fashishe nanone mu kwitoza urumva ibyo byose nashize mu size sinabisiga uko birahenze anone ho niyo mpamvu naye na isimbo ya team ni kene iteze mu rugo ikoresha byose ngenda bifite naho batampa ibyawo ni guri gari ryanje nje nzitoza ni yo hankinira mu kazi nta kyo nje nzaza ndetse no mutima mwiza ni yari no gutsinda abashaka nzatsinda umusaruro bayi bantizeho ndi hari amisiko nubundi ndi mu rugo bazaho nyitege ndo mfite mu maguru yanje hmm <laughs> buddy this sounds like muddy water to me uh and and I'm gonna I'm gonna call you out on this one because I know for a fact that that equipment you're talking about is being loaned to you, and that equipment can be safe. You can find a safe place for it very easily. You can leave it with a friend. You can give it back to the the individual that loaned it to you. We're not gonna name them, but I don't think that that's that's an issue. I think that um, you know this is the kind of cooperation that you have to you have to collaborate on with your team i understand things with your team are difficult but i don't think that uh, leaving your equipment unattended at home is the is the issue you have family have friends and that's a very easy solution so why why uh is is this an, why are you bringing that up is that an excuse i mean i don't understand i'm got your mom kuko numva ku buryo bujya mfata umwanzi wanje mu rugo nuko nabonaga ko hari byinshi biri kongora hari muri score bitewe n'impinduka za zimaze kwa kure equipe nako twa tukiri fight twa tubaye saka kandi mu buzima yimbaye mu muri fry bwa bitandukanye n'ubwasaka nabonye bitangiye kongora rero nuko nafashe uwo mwanzi rwanda tarabwo ati nje ndi yizino mu biri wanje uko nitoza ndakoze ibyo yantoje tabata ya nitoza ganda zizi kujana kazi toza rero nka nkajya muri kurusa ngakina ni ibintu byoroshye cyane none ibyo byuma nkubwije gore uko ndebuka nta nshuti ngira kandi no muryango wanje ashaka kuri kure cyane wo murugo urumva rero nanone aho batoye ntago natari ibyuma bingana kurangwa ndabijyana ubwo rero arahari Okay, well, um, I think we should move on from this topic of, uh, of your equipment and uh, staying at home. I understand, I understand you wanting to stay at home, and uh, while I have not seen the conditions that uh, you might live in with, uh, with your team at their headquarters where they want you to be, um, you know, I've spoken with uh, other athletes that are on your team, and I've heard similar things about the difficulty that they're not uh, they're not the best, the food isn't the best, and that um, it's not um, conducive to to really training and doing your best. But let's move on from that. Um, I want to ask you, going back to let's see here, going let's go back to. The, this initial problem, this this dust up with with your coach, with Adrian, um, can you tell me what exactly happened? I mean, when you say that he beat you on two occasions, that can be interpreted any number of ways. It's a little bit vague. Um, can you tell me exactly what happened? Like, what was the situation? What led up to it? And uh, how exactly did he beat you? Quietly <laughs> kandi tugeze no kumurongo nano yenda mutsinda kananiriwe breakaway yumvise ni kubwa seti ti wijya wiri gukoresha imbaraga cyane de mfite imbaraga ahubwo jya wiyaka babandi bagiye breakaway ya uzujyane nabo fatanye nawe ko abona umwanya wo kwirwa wikoreye peroto kandi none wanagira ku murongo wa gutsinda yumvise turi muri icyo kiganiro ahita zari kwiruka nka arankubita ngo ntabwo ndu mutoza Naye nabuga tako ntabwo no mutoza ndabyemera ariko nk'abakinyi turakwiye kwinegura aho twagiye tubyica guko nitwe tuzatekigare mu manda tukaturi kunyonga 
ako kanya nahise nuri rgare ndagenda mu gengere mbona nkwikije n'imijugujugu yibite tangije ndabwete bintari byafi ntabwo ari gusa kuba yumushenganira na city kuri biriya kankwita ntabwo ari cyo huga mpoye afite ikindi we muri wa mpoye atabgaragaje hmm damn yeah i mean that's that sounds like a very strange situation for for certain i mean you're one of the stronger riders on your team. I mean, one could argue that you're the team captain. You have the most, I don't know if you have the most experience, but you have, you're definitely one of the most experienced players and you're one, you're definitely probably the strongest. I mean, you've got more results and you perform stronger, the strongest on the team consistently. So I don't see any problem with you giving your teammates advice or guidance. In fact, I think that that is exactly what is expected from a team leader. So I'm not sure that story sounds that story sort of story doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It, it, you definitely should not be be beaten for that. I'm really sorry that that happened to you. Um and I don't know I I mean if I was in your shoes, I don't know how I would deal with that. Um but you said that there was two occasions. That is that the first one? Was there was there another one? Kwa hiyo kwa tuli Belgiki. Ya kenchi hiyo ndi kumwe na wana benchi banomba sinzi kumize banomba nashaka kuvuga. Huko nakuze na wana na wana na nini. Ya wanye babonye niki kike kwa ni bintu byose bikuze niki kike yeri imwe na imwe kwa nagiye kwicara nka nje nyine. Ukabyita wana ngasezo goroka ntanga sezo goroka rimwe. Kana ari yo miti yange nakuriyemo. Namba bibonye gutyo. Kai turangije gufata ibyane mu goro byo kurya fetting wow that's crazy Man, I don't know. I mean, for starters, there's nothing wrong with being introverted. In fact, I'm introverted. And I was exactly like that when I was an athlete. I would be, I mean, I was with the team, but I was pretty social. I would go to my room. Other teammates sometimes would go out to do things. Sometimes they'd sneak out when we were kids. But I was always just kind of chilling on my own. And I had my headphones in a lot. Um, the fact that anyone would... I mean, your coach should should uh, be able to observe you and look at you and and sort of have empathy for what your particular needs are and help you out, help you feel comfortable and help you be healthy and thrive and and, and try to understand your personality, not punish you for it. So if that's true, that is really awful. That sounds... That sounds even aw more awful than the other sense. I mean, to, to be beaten with a stick for being uh, introverted or even if you're antisocial is, uh, yeah, that's just wrong. I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Um, yeah, I don't, know that, yeah you can, I don't know what else to say about that. That's just shocking. You know what? kugira nje mu rugo rya na huje ibyo bintu byombi ndagije mu mwanzu nta wundi ari gukora ndi mu rugo hajanze mu kazi hanyuma ngira ngata mu byo kugabanya ibyo bibazo byose bigenda biba ndazi neza ko hari amarasa adakondwa kandi ate na machinga nariko naho nyi cyari cyo gisubiza kiruta ibindi gutangaje gukora mu rugo nkajanze nje mu kazi ngira ngata ha mu byo bwo kwirinda gushaka amahora mu bari um all that makes sense to me and um, yeah, since I wasn't there, this is all really crazy for me to hear about because, I mean, this kind of thing doesn't belong in cycling. I want to be careful here because, you know, I love you and I don't want to come across as sounding like I am trying to uh, punish you or like I don't believe you or anything like that. But I have to ask since I wasn't there, like, uh, there were other people around on both of these instances in Belgium and then on the training ride where you had these altercations with Adrian where he beat you. 
if I were to ask other people that were there, would they tell me the same story that you're telling me? Yeah. <laughs> Hmm, okay, well, this isn't uh, this isn't a courtroom. You're not on trial. I'm not trying to. Uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to. Um, what's the word? Um, Cross-examine. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to uh, interrogate you. I was just. I was just curious um, because. I mean, I do have a lot of friends in cycling and I have friends that are on your team and I heard some, you know, I've heard some other stories and I don't know if those stories are true or not either because I wasn't there and uh, I'm not on anyone's side. You know, I just, uh, you know, I hate to hear about this kind of thing happening in cycling. But you mentioned that, you know, neither one of you are perfect or, or something like, you know, neither one of you are saints. So, you know, to that aspect... Not to justify anyone beating you, that should never happen. But uh, was there was there problems in the relationship before this these things happened? Did you, I mean, were you able to treat Adrian with respect and did you have respect for him as your coach before that? And do you feel like Adrian was uh, doing a good job otherwise? <laughs> Arjenje kujya muri champion du monde uyu ngiye yarampaye imyitozo Adrien ntago yayemeraga yumvaga ko nakitoza ibye anyi nkamubwira ati ntago narenga ku mategeko yo mu coach equipe y'igihugu ya Mpaye kandi nariwe usikuntu netumanye n'igihe kandi nariwe tuzajyana Bege ibi bintu bya bitangira gushwana gutyo gutyo to abonye birananiranye byageze na mfata umwanzi akujya njya kuyitoza ngenyine ntajyanye nabandi koko yari yampaye myitozanye ngomba kuzajya kwitoza nkajya gukina champion du monde ubwo abonye bigenze gutyo narafashe nari bwo ikamye yangonze ndi mu myitozo hanje ahita avuga ngo do ngo ibyo se no kwera sterling gutuma umwana njya mu muhanda wenyine bega muri make ntashaka kwemeye ibyo ngo yampaye ngo ashaka ko ngendera kubyiga kandi hibaza impamvu ahubwo yari bo wabimpaye ngo aribyo nitoza ndangiza nje gukina kandi ni kubitibaza impamvu yabimpaye kandi nawo hari cyo kibanze nchawo kubona cyarabaye ntandara byo sikujya gukubitwa kwanje kwa kabiri bibi well that's that sounds like another specific occasion where you had a kind of a specific conflict what i was asking more is is like you know in terms of your relationship we you know in terms of how you interacted with Adrian as a coach, not like this happened and this happened, or we argued about this, we argued about that, or you beat me in this occasion, and not not specific instances, but I just meant like in terms of the relationship, like how was the vibe? Like, did you, you know, was it good before and then it went bad, or was you know that's what I'm asking about. <laughs> ntago navugana na nawe keshi pe cyaje kuko na nabage mu cyumba cyanjye nari imenyaga mu kavuga kwitoza nkaza ngakara abanyiryamira bisanzwe neje bikabuko ariko kenshi ntago twajyanaga twajyanaga mu muhanda ntago yabaga hari aho yatangiye kuba hari rero kurumba twa yaje mu kwezi kwa kabiri turi di Rwanda igiye kuba nari bwo twasinye kontra ya za skora arabyibuka nawe mucika mva muri centre nkagenda a nyuma ya toro covid ya estezamo iteje mu rero twese twahamye mu kigo kandi we ntabwo yarari mu kigo amezi yose ndumva yaro ngiye kugaruka mu kigo ho mu kwezi kwa gatano hari kwa gatandatu nuko kwezi kwa gatandatu yibuka ko champion du monde yari mu kwezi kwa karindwi ari bwo nahise njya he njya imusanze giye imusanze rero nibwo nagarutse iyo kesi itangira kubaho gutyo kurumva nyuma ya tode rwanda ntago twongiye kubona na byagije uko covid ya isizamo nta mwakindi gihe kirekenegeze muri nawe abonye mvuye musanze muri uko kwezi kwa karindwe 
ibyo ambwira yo kabona nti biri ku makinga nibyo yambiye nje nkabona ko ayo ntandaro y'ibindi byose kuko ajya ku nkubita yankubize mu kwezi kwa kwa cyenda well it sounds like uh, it never went with that well it sounds like you and Adrian got off on the wrong foot i don't know how you say that but it sounds in english we say it sounds like you guys got off on the wrong foot and there needs to be some some way of you guys understanding each other better not not to diminish you know the sins of the past but it sounds like it it didn't start well kreenchura ikinenge nifuza nitimo kane mire meza sigaye tukorene turyaryana mweke ko mwishimiye kandi ntana mwishimiye mubyo kugira nkora akazi kanje neza Ninjye wuzi cyo nshaka. Ikosa no gusubira mu rya kosa yakoze. Niyo haraho namurebye nabikosa no kongera kubikora. Okay, I see. So so basically you you're you're getting to the point now where you realize that you have a contract that um your employer is not going to let you out of. You don't have the option of going and racing with the national team or another team until your contract finishes. So you would rather bite the bullet and um, you know try to just be as professional as you can on your end so that you can continue racing your bike and especially so that you can do the Tour de Rwanda and um, just sort of fight through the pain and, and overlook some of these issues that have happened and overlook some of the uh, the injuries and insults that you've suffered. Do I have that right? <laughs> Man. That's that's tough, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But uh so it sounds like you you just have problems up and down. It just hasn't gone well. Um I mean, at one point, I thought that you and Adrian had reconciled and sort of squashed your differences. You, you know, he'd apologized to you, you'd apologized to him. Um, there was a helmet that you really liked, and uh, I think he's, you're still using that helmet. So did, did, did things deteriorate after that, even, even though you reconciled, and is there no chance of that happening again? Just Jack has Kavuzi, Kaskin, and it's in the Americus. Yeah, she's a mutin in the Zayim. How well, when I made you one. Right, Cindy. Pick in the mic. None ho, Kiunga. Okay, I'm good to keep a corner to Jarjan. Would you now try to go say Moaz in now to go seven in Moaz and now go with Zakura meeting my Achuko Hari Chavai? umvarero niba mubwiye ati ngiye mu kazi ndahari nzaza ngakore kandi je nakwijana nkuko babishaka nzaka gakora twirengagize byaye ndi byabaye ariko hewe nachibaza azaza nachibaza Man, buddy, I, what I what I can sense from all this is that you're very passionate. You feel very strongly about all this, and it has not been easy. Ahubwo <laughs> Nibiyare yo kuba kuri imyaka ibiri ari kuba abone igishoro naho bakura maya kamoto kaje kuba abamotari mega bo muyo ntago atwaiga byo kuba professionnel tubone igishoro ni nayo ndirimba ibiri muri bo hiyo turi mu myitozo ngewe nkumva mfata nca ufata zone runaka umwe yigeze ubigeze kunchura ngo ngo ni umwanya wa kabiri mu matoro di Rwanda ngo uri kunyosha ngo ni uri kunyikinama nge nabasubije jambo rimwe ati ninjye wuzi ikigarere mari mare kindi twari ntago ngiye nta byurushoro ncyaka nzajya gutsina mbo narenze rwa rushoro mwe muri gushaka niba mushaka miliyoni imwe y'urushoro nge ncaka 10 nakoreye 
It sounds like sounds like more issues with the team, and it sounds like a difficult dynamic. I'm not sure what the interworkings of the team are like, but um, but let's move on from this. You know, the sort of ins and outs and these uh, these issues. It does sound very difficult. But um, what have you learned? I have two questions for you. What have you learned from this 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 uh, the past year and these things that have happened, and what um. You want to finish? Yes. We're almost finished. <laughs> uh, buddy, uh, what, have, what, what, what have you learned from all this and where do you want to go and where do you think you can go? I mean, it might be a little bit difficult for you. Um, is it okay if I give you sort of my opinion? Uh, Chako the so that cockum is a natural. A champion arm suvisa. Nibjinchi vinejishi hangaha. Ichino chamber wiga ukwe muna kwe kugaragaza ichashoway kukora. No neho kagazan kukifat kugaragaza kuzi kifatiri chemezo. Kumun shows of a mumuga won't miss it in bed. A honum van chaka queer and your curried band. No curry yimboga misiawayam. Vancha come professional Hanze Hanodi Hanze Africa. I recall a Kimbogam is gender this in a common agenda or a Mayergue. I recall Mumayergue my chair got toy and cigarette. Don't Vancha cup jazz Musaraco, Nari Morisaka. Coco, Nini Morisaka, Nakaka Nigat and Cigarane, Nakabura. Rumba my grand cigarane, Yunga Kota, Kwana contract, Tanya Nabo. Never come on the name for Shakova and I keep. Now, who are Wunga coming in Harry Hanum Africa? Jenna Gizio, the Mizzi is a yoko. Shanakujana, now you call it a candy, Nigel could have shock and I become an essays. Wow, that's a lot, buddy. Man, let, let me let me try to address these <clears throat> these one by one. Um. First thing is that, um, yeah, I'm really sorry that you're suffering. Um, and you are massively talented. I know that you can get results in bike races if if you can learn how to, to race smart, let's say. But um, I want to point out, you know, I want you to succeed 100%, and I'd love to help you succeed. Um, but you face a number of challenges, you know, Af African cycling is still growing. There's not that many African teams, um, that are professional that are racing at the continental level, even, um, you know, there's pro touch, there's Saka, there's benediction. And I don't know if there's another, I think Angola has a continental team, but, uh, I'm not sure how much they travel and race or what their budget is, or if they're still a continental team this year, a UCI continental team that is. But um, you face, I want to be honest with you, you face a few other challenges, you know, for, for starters, you, and this is not an audit of your character or your, or your, you know, I'm not, I'm making, not making a judgment on you, but you don't speak English. I mean, you speak very little English. You don't speak French and you need to be able to communicate to be on another professional team. So, you know, that's a hurdle, but another hurdle that you face is that, you know, and maybe it's, maybe it's simply a matter of communication. Maybe it's a language barrier, but in my experience, you know, managing you on the national team in the past, um, you're really strong. You're so strong. You're so talented and you have such spirit and passion in the races and you're always at the front, but you, you get excited and you don't race with uh, the, the best tactic. And also when we try, when we make a plan beforehand and I lay out a tactic for you, even when we have it, you know, we have it translated and we're sure you understand. I, I can't remember a single time when you actually followed the plan. You always just went and did your own thing. So it was difficult to, you know, it was, it was one thing to coach your training and give you a program and do your bike position and, and prepare you for a race. But it was very difficult to be your director sportif 
um, because once the, the the race started, you were just you know you would just do whatever. And I think you know from a coach's perspective, there's a lot of times where you could have won races. You could have done much better if you had had a more tactical approach. So I know that's uh you know that's a lot in 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 one question to think about. But um, you know, do you understand? some of those challenges you face maybe and what do you think about those nim josha rabiz yes uh kira gihe no bo ngubu buri gikintu kibakira kugira ngo kitwigishe ubu ngubu narahindutse ntabwo akiri wa wandi wa mbere azi ndamwize za yuko muhize yarazi wa mbere si wowe harimo difference None ha kindi ku kibazo cy'ururimi ndatekereza neza aho najye gukina hose mirongo 7 kijana na cyami na tatatu kijana na ajya numva ibyo bambwira kandi burya icyongereza pe andacyumva ariko nsubiza gake gashoboka ariko uko burya nuko tubatabana n'abakizi banye n'abakizi burya byagera ngo nkakimenye ntago ntago nawe ni nge nyine nta mfite tukivugana ngo kize nkoba nkoreye ubufasha nkoba ngo akabura mukatsamya na hantu sitaje nawe yabo yukwezi kumwe cyangwa abiri ndamwizeza yoko yazaza yazaza abibone nisa yeah i feel the same way about kinyarwanda you know i ndakumbutsane yavuga gace that's the way it is and i'm even though I live in Rwanda, I guess I'm really not, I mean, I'm around Kinyarwanda a lot, but it's just hard for me to, it's really hard for me personally to learn because I'm dyslexic. I don't know if you know what the, the dyslexia is, but I'm trying and I also want to learn French. It's just like, when do you make time to learn? But I think that's a good idea. An internship or a class or an English class or something like that, that could, you know, upgrade your English from, you know, understanding a bit and speaking just a tiny bit to maybe being like you know conversational so that you can uh yeah so you can you see so that you can converse a little bit better and you know that's really key because you know i was telling you know reynos was here before he went to italy and we had a conversation and i was i was telling him especially where you're going in italy the most important thing about being a professional is communication you know I mean, assuming that you have the legs and the power and everything else and you can do well on the bike, you have to have talent. But, you know, in terms of operating as a professional, communication is key. Um, and I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm proud of you for understanding that, you know, these trials are sent to test you, you know, to test your character and that you have a choice. You can either get caught there and stay there or you can grow you don't have to change who you are your passion and your heart but you're you're growing you're becoming a man and i think that's the right attitude that is something that i really hope you remember bibiri n'icyenda bibiri na 19 turi di Rwanda yarangira nkabona ariko niko no hindutse kubera nge banangirirega na sigaye nigaya ariko byaranyigishije ndatekeza bibiri na 22 hayise yaza mindi mpinduka bibiri na 21 aho ye byani ya mwaga byajya bigeraho bikora ku naye narangije kubyishyira mu ko ngoma gutsira mu kabimbwiraga nibwaje mu kino kibaza ikifuzo cyanjye kiragira kiti nampashe bene stage ubundi mwereke ikishimo ndetse n'icyo harani yavunikiraga cyose n'imbaraga ntakajeho ndi mwereke ndazi neza yo kwimyaka yo kwanyira imuto iri konsiga ndumva navuye mu bato yo mwaka utaha ariko nubwo nayivuye mu ntago bivuze ko nashaje ndacyafite imbaraga pe mbonye competition zihagije amwizeza yuko na umukinyi showe cyane kandi byose mbikesha we na mfashe naho yabo kwezi kumwe ngende mugaragarize rezilita nziza zibye yakoze byose noneho kuburyo umwaka uta 
mazava ndi kumusinya muri yinde kipe kandi nziza okwezi kumwe muri aya mezi turi mu ntabwo aramezi arari imisi myinshi cyane yambira bimwe nemwe nkashaka indi support ka bakadufasha ariko nkagiye nawo na sinzo ko nabivuga mbega muri make buri kimwe cyo cyawe cyaranyigishije namfashe cyo kintu kingenzi kirutse ibindi byose mwerike uko atavuna cyo bose well, buddy, I'm always willing to help you. You don't have to, I mean, it's not It's not a matter of me uh, wanting to help you or not. I'm 100% for you. I want you to succeed. And if there's anything I can do to help you, I will. Um, the only, my, my only issue now is that I'm working as an independent. I'm no longer with the Federation. So I don't have funding. I don't have equipment. I don't have, I don't have a way to give you, a, you know, a spot on a team. And, uh, you know, we have to tackle some of those other things first. You know, I've, I've looked into be, looked into becoming an agent and, uh, you know, that's, that's sort of part of another, you know, whole realm of solutions that I'm exploring. But, um, you know, the pro, you know, the issue, the issues African cycling faces are so are, you know, they're, these are some of them, but they're so much larger and there's so many different things to tackle. And I'm trying to think about the big picture I'm trying to find solutions for the big picture so that then I can give people like you an opportunity. And I would love to see you succeed. And of course, they'll work together. Um, you just have to communicate. Um, you know, the past is the past. And, uh, you know, we actually have some, we actually have some video of, uh, remember when we went on the, the recon, we were going to see the first time the race was finishing in Gikondo here on the Stone Road. Do you remember that? Are you going to do work? Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we can maybe we can splice some of that in later. But uh, I only have a I only have a couple more questions for you, and then we'll finish. Okay. Um, first question is sort of a a broad question. How do you see how do you see cycling in Rwanda now? Okay, we na. Amano ya siri mwinga rubu ngubu ari gukurura yishyira kandi uri kubirimo wese ari kureba inyungu ze ntago batekeza ko kubakinnyi ngo barebe umukinnyi ejo hazaza hiwe nahaye barabona umukinnyi agize ikibazo anagira handi tuzatoza abandi kamwe mukabone centre ni yabakinnyi ariko yabaye yabandi bantu n'abatrizime n'abaki Canary which in your jetty chow. Mega money make a girl jaw a business, so go in Jenny Combi one. Hago Chita Covacini, who convey a machini, Gita Gagoku Jagende, a Jago Garagaza, on Saturn, the tenor as it turns is. Hongo won't have some vigil with Hongo Kuahoko machin, machin no queen. Coco, a team in ye, Sebo Noza Traea and Jira. Kwera yuko no ese niba namafaranga bakinyi bakorera batayabaha umukinya gaheruka ajya gukina gaheruka ataha nta kintu cyuye kandi bo bo bari gushakurura bishyira ayo babonyera ako ari bo bayifunga urumva igare ryo mu Rwanda nje ku ruhano rwanyu ko mbibona byarangiye ko saha izi nta mukinyo ukomeye bavuga ngo bahagaraye hano bafite umukinyo ukomeye cyase bafite batano bageza ikipe yabaserukira Hong Kong hippie keep in as you know, no, no. How much you must have gone with you? Uri mo navuja jesa, Nimujisha Chango Bosco. How in the machine was him of it? Rumva, a garage of Morgan and you come on a little curanger. Oh, Mujisha Chango Bosco and Chacha Jay is a chocolate war. I go women of we under twenty. Muse, I now got it. So you don't see any new riders that have talent? No. <laughs> Ah, na wachi ni wari hawa kumi, nuko yara jihari. Kani na vuga, yara turgua ni ajisha kani ya maabi nchi ni wabi mimi. Aiko saizi, ni bumbu chini wa ekipe nationali tazama ni bata na wambere. Ni bumbu chini wame yendi chipe tazama ni bata na wambere. Kuchiva tiba zicho chiva, guamia kama rara tu mare. Aiko bazaari bumbu jiheche, ni nchuru zirenzi zinga he, watu ya marushanu wari kum. Nichoza bakwiye kwibaza cyane aho saye sokubeshya umwanya wa 10 nawo bazajya babona 
Well, sadly, I uh, I kind of, you know, I have to concur a little bit that, uh, you know, Rwandan cycling doesn't appear to me to be, to be progressing like it used to. Of course, you know, there's a lot of things that maybe you don't know, you don't understand. I think the success in the sport um, that that uh, Rwanda had over over the past decade, you know, it's you know, I can't take credit for a lot of that. You know, I mean, I can I can own my role in terms of coaching the team and you know, choosing the talent and training you guys, but you know, a lot of a lot of where team rwanda has gotten to the level the knowledge the equipment you know you know even the tour of rwanda really becoming a a a uci event really the biggest race in africa really has a lot to do with the efforts of team africa rising and jock boyer which came well before me they they laid the foundation uh in partnership with ferawasi you know there's a lot of people that that helped and there's a lot of people that didn't help um you know so the history is complicated uh, but not to dwell on that, I don't know exactly what should be done. You know, it's it's difficult to find answers and solutions um, because you know, really, the development of the sport and the management and everything that happens within the sport, um, you know, is is the responsibility of sports leadership. And uh, you know, my relationship to those people is not so good anymore. You know, they they don't uh, they don't respond to me now. And they did not uh, respond to my ideas, you know, even when I was there, um, for almost, almost uh, completely, almost, almost uh, without, without an exception. I don't think there's a single proposal that I put forward that they, that they actually even responded to, or, or I mean, we would talk about them, but they didn't. Nothing ever got implemented or taken uh, to the next step, and um, you know that was frustrating. That's part of the reason why. You know, I really didn't um, put any effort into continuing after my contract ended. But, um, you know, this is sort of a sad subject. You know, we've been talking about so many things uh, that are that are difficult. You know, cycling's hard, but uh, riding the bike is hard enough. It shouldn't be this hard, you know. My feeling is that there's so much talent in Rwanda. There's so many young riders who want to race um, that if there was, you know, even even uh, somewhat competent management of the development and there was equipment to be had, if there was bikes, that uh, we could have a really, really booming cycling, racing cycling culture. You know, if you put, if you had 100 bikes today, there would be 100 kids tomorrow racing them. I mean, they would be that that quick to, to take, a, take it up and I think the talent is there. But, uh, you know, we could I could spend hours talking about the management of the sport and... Uh, you know, this is sort of a frustration I think you and I both share. But um, so, what can we do? What's next? Are you going to race Tour of Rwanda? Anjewe, chindari. Niba mama gano nze kuchina nzaza. Koko saizi kuri list ya ba za china na techi zancha kuwa na yuko de kuri bench. Hariko mama mama gani na zanga chini kaya ngata tangi jana kujana kumbara gamfite. Nungu ni hito jariko. Chimwe chimwe gisigaye naje bibaye byiza babimenyesha ma sanga mirongo n'irimo cyangwa minsi itarenze ibiri tatu ko cyane itegura imyo chimwe chimwe gisigaye ngenda hari nakina nta mutima mubi mfite hasigaye amezi make ya cyane ngo kontari rangire na yakora neza nkuko nandi yose yahise na yakoze ngenda hari nagira kibazo niba mpamagara nzajya gukena well, that's good to hear, buddy. And I think that your attitude takes courage, so I applaud you. Uh, you had a conversation with your coach, Adrian, earlier today. He's he's on his way back to Rwanda from Italy. Um, what was your conversation like? Did he did he talk about putting you on the roster? Which 
ako size ntango ntaratanga urutonde nje namubwi jamwe wabwira nti tanga urutonde ndiho basuriye ko ari bwashireho akabaza nibwo turamenya niba nzakena cyane ntazakena arambira ngo araza kubikora ngo nanye ndategereje ngo ndebe ariko ikindi bayo byiza nawe yamfasha akabandikira twirengagije ibyabaye byose ntacyo baza mugani nta babyirengagize nange mbyirengagize ngende nkine niba bashaka kubikomeza nyine ubwo bo nti bampamagare nta kibazo mfite nzakomeza nitoze yeah but absolutely i've uh, i've talked with adrian you know we called him and uh, and i've also talked to the your other boss so i mean i i mean, i'm all for you racing i want you to race to rwanda but um just to be specific to 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 answer my question adrian adrian's intention was to put you on the roster yeah mbwiye ko ari buze kubishyira ku mukunkiraho ngo ari ngo arebe ko yuko sikoro iri bwangire ikibazo ngo nita shira akabaza ku izina ryanje ngo yubite kumushizeho nzakina it's kind of a yes or no question so so what what I'm trying to get at here what I'm trying to clarify is that between you and between Adrian there's no problem you want to race two of Rwanda together you are ready Yes I'm ready to coach Jana Kujana Sa fresh Sa fresh Ah ikindi bakabimenyesha kika kampe ikoresha nkitoza mu cyumweru kimwe gisigaye kuko ndategeza ase 10 days Yeah very soon Birako me are you your training is good you're ready it's now it's small training small training yeah hmm well that's another issue i think that we've i think that we've covered a lot of ground and i think that maybe we should wrap this up but first i want to say to you that i want to say thank you for for coming here and being willing to talk it takes courage to speak about these kind of problems i know you've suffered a lot and i know you're going through a lot of pain and the pain is both physical maybe and but mostly psychological and emotional to struggle through these things not having raced for so long the last time you raced you won a medal and the time before that you raced you, you raced in november in uh in cameroon and you won the whole race you won the yellow jersey and then you raced in egypt and uh you won a medal you won two medals right so you know your form is pretty good. I think that your training, even if it hasn't been perfect, I think you're ready. You're very really talented, and I really hope that you and Adrian get to line up and start to have one together in ten days. Um, but thank you for your courage to come here and speak about these things. I hope that people can understand you better. I know that I understand you better. <laughs> Ah arakoze kamena ya mubaze ese yigeza avugana na Ivan ese bongutse iki ko navuganye na Adrie ha mu bibyo twavuganye ese ni ke gisize kiza kibirimo cyangwa se kibi kibirimo none hikindi araza kumfasha nge kuba kwa nakora gushaka yo stage nkare ntere gusubira inyuma ko nifuza kugera kuri hashoboka mm that's difficult we'll talk about it later and um i i have reached out to ivan i've sent him messages but uh, he hasn't gotten back to me so um i don't know maybe he doesn't feel like i'm the i'm i'm somebody that needs to be part of the conversation i have no idea but um is there anything else I'm, we're, we're going to continue this conversation later later i'm going to continue working with you and uh, hopefully help you find a solution because i care about you and i want you to succeed and i think you're talented and i think you're learning and i think you deserve the opportunity to prove who you become and who you who you can become as a as a man and also as a bike racer but is there anything else that you want to tell people that you want people to understand whether it's in Rwanda or around the world is there anything you want to tell people cyane kimwe ngi nabwira umayize wa mbere bibaze na nubwo ni wa wundi ntawe yagiye nubwo asa no asibye nyuma mu nyitoza ariko ni kimwe kimwe ngasubira kuri forme uh come by what it is yeah that in the go yeah good touch in any one more got a can you turn on one wins a comes and it doesn't touch in any martian i mean i didn't be yours can you have an anguish in a community could do she did you know what's going to come on god 
I like that. That's a good attitude. Stay ready. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Um, I think I think that's a good place to stop, buddy. All right, Murakozi, Moise out. Toji, I think we're good. <laughs> 